In March 2021, People, a digital artist, sold his digital artwork the first 5,000 days for $69 million at Christie's auction house. This high-profile sale set off a digital gold rush frenzy into a new and quite bizarre space of the internet that transacts what we call NFTs. Weeks and months after this historic sale, we got a wave of people cashing in NFTs. Lena Morris, or overly attached girlfriend, sold the original screen grab of her meme for four hundred eleven thousand dollars. Disaster Girl then sold her meme for five hundred thousand dollars. Jack Dorsey, the CEO of Twitter, sold his first tweet as NFT for two point nine million dollars. In just recent months, you probably heard news of celebrities like Justin Bieber, Jimmy Fallon, Post Malone, Neymar, Kevin Hart, and many others all bought these digital NFTs images for an insane amount of money. Even more ridiculous, in January 2022, an Indonesian high school student, Gosali, uploaded 933 selfies of himself as NFTs and sold these selfies for an astonishing one million dollars. To put in perspective. In 2020, the sale volume for NFT was just 94.9 million dollars. In 2021, this was 24.9 billion dollars. So what the f is going on with NFTs? What exactly is NFTs? NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. Fungible means not unique, like a dollar bill. There are billion different versions of the dollar bills that everyone owns. Non-fungible just mean that it's unique, like the Mona Lisa or the Taj Mahal. There's only one unique original version of this. Non-fungible tokens, you can think of them as unique certified stamps of authenticity and originality for the digital assets. What problems does NFT solve? Before the internet, we spend a lot of time in the physical world. With the internet and the pandemic, now we live and work online almost every day. In the digital world, the internet helps us reach a wide range of people globally. But the internet also has a weakness. There's no ownership and no values to any digital assets. For example, if you post photos, videos, and music online, anyone on the internet can download and use it for free without much consequences, and they don't have to get permission or credits from you. Worse, if you are using social media like Facebook. All your data about your activities, interests, thoughts, and secrets are recorded by these tech companies. Then they turn all your data and sell it to advertisement. They make billions of dollars every year, spread false information during the election and the pandemic. When shit hit the fan, they change their name to deflect negative press, and now they are hyping a technological future that supposedly unlocks limitless freedom for all of us. NFT. As its core is trying to provide the benefits of the physical world, authenticity and ownership of online digital assets. What does NFT use for? NFT can be used for digital art, gaming, music, physical art, sport, real estate, and collectibles. In terms of volumes, art, collectibles, and gaming are dominating the NFT market. So in this video, we will focus on NFT in digital arts and gaming. In gaming. NFT can serve as digital certificates of achievement or ownership of items in the virtual world. This allows trading of items through an in-game marketplace or any forms of open market. Cross-platform transfer of games, items, and achievements is also possible. The integration of NFT technology with gaming has led to the creation of a new paradigm in gaming: play-to-earn or gamify. Axie Infinity was a major standout star in the space. The game generated over 1.3 billion dollars in revenue in 2021 and has over 2.8 million daily active users. Axie Infinity is a popular Pokemon-inspired blockchain-based play-to-earn game where players collect virtual creatures in the form of NFTs called Axie Monsters. Axie Monster can be collected, bred, and sold at a price that depends on their rareness. Their price can range between a few dollars to hundred thousand of dollars. You breed these axes in team of three, then you go and battle with other teams to earn Smoothler Potion. Within the game, there's Smoothler Potion token, which are the rewards for every quest you completed and every battle that you won in the game. With play to earn NFTs, now you can actually redeem Smoothler Potion for actual money. On the upside, we hear many positive stories of people in the Philippines who play axes and took care of their families or make it their full-time jobs. 
On the downside, there's quite a lot of problems with the play to earn model. Compared to traditional gaming where it's all about fun leisure and entertainment, when you play a play to earn game, the incentives for the player are not the game itself, it's more about making money. Shock! People treat these games as full-time jobs, trying to extract as much money as possible from the game. As the game gets more popular, the barrier to entry to play the game becomes really expensive. To just start playing Axie now, you need to buy Axie monsters and these monsters could easily cost you several hundred dollars to start the game. The game can quickly become too exclusive that not everyone can play. To address this issue, Axie and others play to earn games start to develop a scholarship program for new players. How it works is that Axie players can give out scholarship to new players to play the game for them, and in return, they split the profits. But the new players actually don't own anything in the game. This scholarship scheme is just a classic form of outsourcing labor. Moving on into NFT digital arts, we have non-generative art, which are digital art pieces that were individually created by the artist. Think of people and the piece that we saw earlier, are arts from this digital artist for washers. These arts take a long time to create. But there's also generative art, which are digital arts generated by computer program. Now let's go to OpenSea. The most popular online marketplace for NFTs, it's time to explore. If we look around this marketplace, you probably notice that the most popular digital arts are digital pop arts, Japanese influenced digital arts, some political activists arts, and some are just straight up internet memes that are quintessential internet cultures. The most prominent NFT digital arts collection that everyone knows so far is Bored Ape Yacht Club. Here you have the floor price. Floor price is just the minimum price that you pay for any Bored Ape Yacht Club NFTs. At the time of this recording, one Ether is worth $3,000. So 90 Ether means that at the minimum, you need to pay $270,000 to own one of these NFTs. There are 10,000 versions of this ape, so this entire collection is worth almost $2.7 billion. What's so special about these apes? These NFT arts are all uniquely computer generated. On the left of the platform, you can see different features of these apes. The team behind this collection just used computer program algorithms to mix and match different backgrounds and layers of photos for clothes, earrings, eyes, fur, hat, and mouth to create a unique ape. If you click on one, you can see the unique properties when you own one of these apes MFT compared to other apes in the collections. Why are these apes worth so much? Well, it's all about the lesson that we can learn from marketing and branding. Here's the watered-down version of how you can hype up your NFT collections. First, you and your team create Twitter accounts to keep your future friends engaged. Then you start a Discord channel when you and your team will recruit, build, and entertain your community who express interest in your NFT collections and projects. Once you get people's attention, you need to attract them with a grand vision. A roadmap of the future where you think your NFT collection are going. Maybe these 2D artwork will turn into 3D. Then your team will build a metaverse around these avatars. Maybe you are planning to build a whole game around these NFT characters. Eventually, you and your team may have partnership with big brands that will buy out your entire collection for billions of dollars and everyone who owns your NFT in your community will be rich. Short version, follow me. I will make everyone rich by doing well, something. Now to be part of these conversations in these communities, you need to learn some new vocabularies. Good morning, good night, profile pick, gonna make it, loose translation, we will get rich, not gonna make it, loose translation, we'll get f***ed and broke, FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt. Use in a sentence, don't spread FUD here. Diamond hands. Someone who will not give up selling out the projects. Fanatics. Paper hands. Someone who's panicked too quickly. Haters. Rug pool. The NFT project's founders are lying about their entire project. They already took the money and ran. 
Once you get your community spirit high and very engaged, let's lay out some perks and utility for everyone who purchased your NFT. Maybe an exclusive club membership, private parties, private events, gifts, bragging rights. You need to constantly keep your fans and community entertained and continue to execute your vision. You will need to give your NFT projects more values and legitimacy. If you can bring a whole bunch of celebrities to be on board, your NFT projects would look super legit. Now your NFT collection can even become a status symbol. As you guess it, the success and medical valuation of Bore A paved the waves for copycats and scams. People started to produce apes in different variations. Sometimes they flip the image to the other side or just use a complete different animals. And people are pouring money into these fake collections. They created fake communities, pay influencers, make empty promises, cashing on the hypes, and disappear. Some NFT projects go as far as stealing arts from dead artists to make a profit. So the NFT digital arts landscape at the moment is looking a lot like a giant pyramid scheme where it's extremely difficult to look for teams and projects that are working toward actual long-term goal. On the more legitimate side of the NFT world, we got Artifact Studio that was recently purchased by Nike. Artifact owns Clonex 3D digital collections that create 3D digital identities. They also rolled out Clonex SpayPod mapping your own futuristic 3D digital studio and digital space. And with the collaboration with such big brands like Nike, they seem to be one of the few NFT collection projects that are on track to continue executing their own metaverse version. So what is the verdict for NFTs? At the moment, as you can see, NFTs are still in the new uncharted space with a lot of hypes and crates. Just with any hypes and trends, there are many people out there who would go above and beyond to exploit you. But that doesn't mean that this space is completely worthless and have no potential in the future once the dust are settled. There's a lot of potential application and use case here. As always, do your own research. And that's Monkey Go for today. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.